Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Merua o mato hara, me mato hoki e muru ne i o te hunga e hara ana kia mato. Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on Friday. Our call to worship today. Never forget to show kindness, to share what you have with others. These are the sacrifices which God approves. Our Gospel Reflection Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd. You are willing to die for the sheep. You are the Good Shepherd. As the Father knows you and you know the Father, in the same way you know your sheep and your sheep know you. You are willing to die for us. The Father loves you because you are willing to give your life. No one takes your life from you. You give it up of your own free will. You are the Good Shepherd. Jesus is the Good Shepherd who understands our frailty and knows each one of us by name. And so as we enter this new day, we reflect on what it is to be named and known by God, our Good Shepherd. And we invite him to guide us in all that lies ahead in the tasks and the conversations we'll be having. Our psalm appointed for today is Psalm 51, the prayer for cleansing and pardon. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and blameless when you pass judgment. Indeed, I was born guilty, a sinner when my mother conceived me. You desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and sustain in me a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from bloodshed, O God, O God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For you have no delight in sacrifice. If I were to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O oh God, you will not despise. Do good to Zion in your good pleasure. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in right sacrifices, in burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. Our epistle reflection. When we were still helpless, Christ died for the wicked at the time God chose. One of us might dare to die for someone good, but now we see God's love. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. 
God rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us safe into the kingdom of his dear son, by whom we are set free and our sins are forgiven. So we rejoice in the hope we have of sharing in God's glory. By the Holy Spirit, God has poured into our hearts the love of Christ. And so as vessels of Christ's love, we sit and reflect on God's word to us today, continuing in 2 Timothy 2, beginning at verse 14. A worker approved by God. Remind them of this and warn them before God that they are to avoid wrangling over words which does no good, but only ruins those who are listening. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved by him, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly explaining the word of truth. Avoid profane chatter, for it will lead people into more and more impiety, and their talk will spread like gangrene. Among them are Hymenaeus and Philetus, who have swerved from the truth by claiming that the resurrection has already taken place. They are upsetting the faith of some. But God's firm foundation stands, bearing this inscription, The Lord knows those who are his. And let everyone who calls on the name of the Lord turn away from wickedness. In a large house there are utensils not only of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay, some for special use, some for ordinary. All who cleanse themselves of the things I have mentioned will become special utensils, dedicated and useful to the owner of the house, ready for every good work. Shun youthful passions and pursue righteousness, faith, love and peace, along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. Have nothing to do with stupid and senseless controversies. You know that they breed quarrels. And the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but kindly to everyone. An apt teacher, patient, correcting opponents with gentleness. God may perhaps grant that they will repent and come to know the truth and that they may escape from the snare of the devil, having been held captive by him to do his will. We hold some silence to reflect on that word to us today. And so let us pray now as we intercede for the church and for the world. Heavenly Father, we bring before you today our prayers for your church and for your world, knowing that you will hear us and help us. We ask, Lord, for encouragement and inspiration in every area of ministry in the church we pray for our cathedral and for all those who minister and serve in this city and across our diocese. Pour out your blessings on all those who work for the coming of your kingdom. We pray that you would bless us as your family, your body here on earth, that we would accept one another as brothers and sisters that we would find strength and joy in our life together and that your spirit would bind us in unity that comes from your son, whether we are able to meet physically or whether we are isolated from one another in this season. May we be a whānau to all people, that through the church we may overcome the hostilities and prejudices that would otherwise drive us apart. We pray to this day 
that you would help us to recognise your presence in us, around us, and through those that we meet. Give us the help we need to be loyal and faithful servants, knowing that with your perfect love, we need not be afraid. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus, Prince of Peace, we ask for your guidance and protection in all areas of conflict and confusion. We continue to pray for our situation of protest across the road from our cathedral. Pour out your wisdom on all those who bear the burden of leadership in Aotearoa and in the nations of the world. And when we lose our way, our sense of human worth or integrity, we pray that you would nourish us with your love and guide us with your wisdom. We pray for your peace, for all those regions where there is violence and war, and for places where there is hatred between races. By your spirit among us, may bitterness and hatred be swept aside and may goodwill, peace and love find a place in our hearts and in the hearts of all people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy Spirit, we ask for your reassurance and comfort for all in pain this day. For the ill, the lonely, the disillusioned and the disheartened. For the homeless, the hungry and the poor. We pray for all who need your healing touch, whether in body, mind or spirit. Give us gentleness and compassion in our interactions with others, that we may be people who bring grace and reconciliation. We pray particularly for doctors, psychiatrists and counsellors, all those who work in the healing profession. We pray too for peacemakers, those who rise above their own hurts and prejudices to work with others for peace and understanding. So we hold before you those mediators in our courts and the international arena, all who work with and identify with oppressed people or minority groups. Give them courage and understanding and discernment. We thank you that you are a God of love and justice. So help us to take your command to love others as you have loved us. To take that to heart today. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. We ask for your strength and companionship wherever our journey may lead today and for your mercy for all those who face the shadow of death. We thank you that Jesus Christ is the light of the world that no darkness can penetrate or overcome. And so we remember before God those who have died. We give thanks for the light of Christ which shines eternally and brings us hope. Our Father, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Etomato matua, murua o mato hara. Me mātou hoki e muru nei i o te hunga e hara ana ki a mātou. 
Saviour hanging on the cross, declaring God's love to us. You are forgiveness. Beside you hangs a thief. Beneath you waits Mary the forgiven. And all around watch those many people to whom you give new life and hope. To us you give new life and hope. Forgiven sinners become your body and your church. May the reconciliation we share bring your gospel to all the world. Eternal God, by your power we are created and by your love we are redeemed. Guide and strengthen us by your spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Jesus, you knew rejection and disappointment. Help us if our work seems distasteful. Help us to decide what best to do, what next to do, or what to do at all. Give us courage and cheerfulness to go the second mile and all the miles ahead. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for morning prayer today. This weekend we will be holding two live, live streamed services, one at 10 o'clock on Sunday and one at four o'clock on Sunday. And you can connect in with those by clicking on the link on our website. May God bless you.